everyone welcome back hope all of you are doing well and in this video i'll be giving you some information on a concierge testing in product management so this information is again taken from the book inspire from marty kagan and it's again a very beautiful topic that he has covered which i wanted to share with you so without any delay let's get into it so before we go into concierge testing first let's see who is a concierge so a con for those of you who don't know a concierge is a hotel employee whose job is to assist guests by booking tours, making theatres and uh, restaurant reservations etc. So it's just that we don't want the guests to do those hard works and the concierge assists guests in that way. So you must be thinking how is it ever related to product management. So let's get to see that. So what is concierge testing in product management? A concierge test requires going out to the actual users and customers and asking them to show you how they work so that you can learn their job and so that you can also work and observe their pains. Okay, it helps in providing them with a better solution. Still, is are you having a confusion as to how do you do that? So this is like I feel like it's taking the product, uh, you know, um, gener the generating ideas for a product to the next level. So more than people coming and giving you their problems and you sit and empathize with them, this is the next level where you would want to go and you would want to learn the work that they are doing and you would also want to perform that work. Only then you would get to understand how does it feel to do their work, what are all the pains that they are going through, what are all the cognition loads that they experience, confusions and what are all the things that would really help ease out their life. So this is very much um, a way in which you can get into their shoes and also generate ideas from that standpoint of view. And for example, so let's say that you want to provide a solution for warehouse operations management. So you want to go there and you want to see people who are in charge for picking, packing and people who are kind of, you know, they don't have any digitalization, no products with them. So you would want to maybe see how do they manage all this information. You would maybe probably want to even go and see how does this information get loaded into a system or how do they make, maintain records of what are the items that are being picked, packed and then shipped out, things like that. So only when you get into their shoes, you would understand the different pain areas that they experience. So if you're ever having this question, how is this concierge testing quite different from customer interactions and observations and shadowing? Because that's what we also do. So if you see here, the customer observation or shadowing, we just sit down and we observe how users do their work or rather how do they work um, you know with a particular system or an environment so that's what customer shadowing or observation is and we now know what concierge testing is if you see the objective okay of both these processes are you want to understand what are the pains customers are facing and you want to generate ideas or you want to come up with a solution that's going to ease out their life and their work but when it comes to the outcome, okay, it might vary for both. Because let's say, for example, this is a very base, um, you know, example that I'm giving you. Let's say that you're sitting and observing someone who's just doing some manual entry of some data. You would know that it's taking time and you would know like what are all the different, you know, um, resources that they might have to refer and then upload that data. How long does it take and things like that. But when you get into their shoes, when you try doing that manual entry, your experience might be different because you might experience confusion as to which resource to, you know, um, uh, refer to and upload the data. You might experience frustrations when that data doesn't get uploaded. You might experience fatigue when you have to, you know, um, upload so much of information. You might face a lot of cognition of uh, cognitive load that you might experience different variations so only when you get into that shoes their shoes you get to understand so many other nuances so that's why the the outcomes might vary from both um, processes 
So the next time, if at all possible, if you want to even build a very small app that wants you want to solve someone's pain, then maybe the best um, idea if you want to go to the next level is try to do their job and definitely you would be getting much more better ideas as to how you can ease out their um, pains and their processes. So I hope that this video is a little helpful. If you found this helpful, please do give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks. Thank you.